welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Storm, and I'm Dennis. And what we're going to do today is go to Vulture, B U L T R dot com, and we're going to set up a VPS server on Vulture with CentOS operating system. And once we get this operating system set up, we're going to migrate it over to Alma Linux. But before we migrate it over, we're going to install Cyber Panel, which is similar to a C. Uh, panel or Plask or some of the other panels out there and it comes with open light speed the server and I've been hearing nothing but great things about it so either sign up if you don't have already done it. if you do got a camp go to deploy but the reason we have to go with these extra steps of doing this is because right now all my Linux is not being supported because it's such a new operating system I'm picking high frequency for my server but you can pick whatever you want but cloud computer high frequency is plenty for server location, as you could tell, Vulture has a lot of different servers throughout the world. So whatever you want to pick for you, your client, or your audience, wherever you're closer, I'm picking Dallas. And again, I could just install Alma Linux, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to install Cyber Panel and the Open Lightspeed server onto it. So what we're going to do first is install CentOS 8x64. We're going to install the 32 gig, $6 a month one. There's plenty for what we're doing. Like I said, it's easy to scale up or down. Uh, Vulture is kind of like Linode, DigitalOcean, AWS, or Cl Google Cloud Platform. It's easy to go up or down with them. And with never, you need more power, more memory, more RAMs, more hard drive, whatever the case may be. Now you come down to here and it says server, host name, and label. This is just a, basically a, a, an internal thing that goes on that if you you know hey put whatever you want you can put a kid's name in there a dog's name you can put anything i'm just going to put centos 8. of course i'm picking the six dollar version and i'm going to click deploy now and what it's going to do is says server edit successfully it is installing at this time and it, while it's installing you're unable to do anything see the subscription is not currently active you cannot manage it so it's installing centos that if you're on a Mac, go to Spotlight and type in T-R-M-I-N-A-L, which is Terminal, and click Enter, and it'll bring you to a screen similar to mine. Now, if you're on Windows, go ahead, go to putty.org, or P-U-T-T-Y.org, and download that terminal, and you can use it. It's showing to be still installing. Usually don't take much longer than, there we go. It's showing running now, and it has assigned us an IP address to your uh, whatever you named it, go into it, and as you could tell, the IP address, username, and passcode right here. We're going to be using that during out the tutorial, so just kind of get an idea where it's at. Go back to your terminal, type in SSH root at, then come down, copy your IP address, go back to terminal, right click, paste, and enter, and it brings us to this. It said basically, hey, do you recognize this? We don't recognize it. Do you trust this? Yes, we do. We're going to click yes. It's going to permanently add it. Now it's asking for our password. Copy. Come back and paste. Click enter. Now it is enabled, and we're inside the back end of our server on CentOS OS. The next thing we need to do now is open a new tab and type in cyberpanel.net that will bring us to the cyber panel home page and what we're going to install is going to be the cyber panel plus open uh, light speed and go to docs go to cyber panel number one install upgrade click it and installing cyber panel now there's two different versions of cyber panel there's just a regular open source version that's free and the cyber panel enterprise we do not need the enterprise it is you got more features, but it's a paid version. Cyber panel, open source is what we're going to use. Highlight that script. Click copy. Go to your terminal. Right click paste. As you can tell, it's installing some of my cyber panels. It says detecting CentOS 8, which is a good thing. That recognizing the operating system is starting to set up all the files as needed in order to do a full installation on cyber panel. And it's going to install the latest version, 
version 2.1.1 at the time of this recording. So now we're going to install cyber panel number one and hit enter. We're going, we're just going to take at least 10 gigs of hard drive space. You got it's easy to scale up or down with Vulture, similar to AWS, DigitalOcean, Linux, Google Cloud Platform, so don't worry about it. And we're going to type in one for the open light speed version. Do you want a full installation? We do because we want the power DNS post fix, and you need that for like your email we're going to be doing later. Pure FTPD. So we're going to click a capital Y. Do we want remote SQL? No. And I want the latest version, but you can pick any version you want. So I'm just going to click enter. And now I need to choose my passcode. You can the administrative passcode that automatically assigns you this number, a random one, or a specify. I like to specify mine, so I'm going with an S. If you do that, type in the passcode that you can remember, and it'll confirm it, which is a good thing because I don't know what I'm typing. That it could be a mistake, so it apparently was correct. Do you wish to install MIM cache process and its PHP extension? Yes. Do you want to install Redis or Redis, whichever one y'all want to call it? Yes. And Watchdog Kill? Yes. Now what it's going to do is it's going to start installing all the files that's needed for Cyber Panel and Open Lightspeed, and it's going to take at least about 10 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is pause this, and I'll be back whenever it gets completed. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we're back. It's completely installed. As you can tell, it says Cyber Panels Excel. Uh, what I recommend is you highlight this area. I'm trying to get it highlighted. But basically, it's going to have a lot of your admin passcodes. But highlight this and maybe copy it to a text editor or a Word doc or something to your able to go in change it or to your and just label it whatever you want and until you uh, go back and do whatever you want to it but that's the way I just recommend but it says enjoy your accelerated internet by cyber panel and open light speed do you want to restart your server I'm click yes it's gonna close it out now I'm gonna go back in SSH root at and you remember what I, we had to do last time we go to uh, Vulture, we go to we click copy, paste, and basically you're re entering everything again because you're starting the server back up and you got to get back into the back end of your server. All right, we're enjoy your accelerator internet by Cyber Panel. So we got Cyber Panel, and what I'm going to show you, you type in ls and hit list. See, cyberpanel.sh is installed in it. So we right now we got a VPS server installed with a CentOS 8 operating system and a cyber panel with open light speed server on it. Here's the thing, we're going to migrate to Amalinux. Amalinux is A-L-M-A-L-I-N-U-X dot org and it'll bring you to this page. As you can tell, it's Amalinux is basically a one-to-one -one binary compatible with rail and pre-stream CentOS OS. What I need you to do is click the migrate button and it's gonna bring you to this page. Go down and there's about four little things that we're gonna have to do in order to migrate this over. It says make a backup of your system if you choose to do so. And then the next thing I need, we need to deploy this Alma Linux onto our system so we can get rid do uh install on it so copy go back to your terminal click paste hit enter now it's to put the the first necessary files in order to get everything going to it and now we just need to put sudo bash alma linux deploy sh that will start installing uh alma linux over basically what we got and this here, as you can tell, is starting to go through it, basically setting it up. And it is going to replace CentOS as your primary operating system now because they pretty much, like you said, one-to-one -one binary compatible. 
It's just a clone of Centos 8. It's also a clone of Red, Red, a real Red Hat. So it's going to take about 10 minutes to do this. And when this gets done, I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and pop it. Okay, everyone, we're back. As you can tell, it is showed to complete install. It is uh, migration to Alma Linux is complete. Uh, the next step is is we want to ensure that the system is success successfully converted. And the way we do that, uh, we're going to copy this script. And basically, since it is a one-to-one -one binary clone of Red Hat or CentOS, you can still use the Red Hat uh, release version command in order to to check see what it is and as you can tell it says it's running alma linux release 8.4 electric cheetah which is what it's supposed to because uh if you go down here it says that here is what it was supposed to return and it did one more step and this is the last step before i show you everything's installed is this last script is called pseudo or grubby and and it's basically want to make sure that Alma Linux kernel is being booted by default and not CentOS kernel or anything like that. So we're going to copy this. We're going to right click paste and we're going to hit enter. And as you can tell, it basically says the same thing here, the Alma Linux, as it does there. So it is running the Alma Linux kernel. Everything's installed. It is basically you got now a VPS server on Vulture with Alma Linux operating system, a cyber panel, which is kind of like C panel or, or Plask, and an open light speed server running on this. But we're not finished. I'm going to show y'all the open light server. So what we need to do is go back to your IP address, click it, open a new tab. Right click, hit paste, hit colon 8090. That's a port that's going to take us to Cyber Panel. And when you click it, you see it says your connection isn't private. Yeah, we know that. We see that, not secure. But here's the thing it, it, you know, they doing that just warn us from sites that could possibly steal something from us. But we know this site is safe. So, this is what we're going to type. And this works not only on Microsoft Edge, but it also works on Google Chrome. And this is unsafe. As you can tell, it's spinning up. It should take us into the Cyber Panel or login page, which it does. It's going to be unsecure. Or in another video, I want you to watch it. I'll show you how to secure it. But right now, I want you to type admin in and whatever code you put in to begin with at the beginning and click sign in now we're in cyber panel with alma linux so that is awesome we done it we got everything done and we we're going to do another tutorial we have to tell you some of the good functionalities of this i've been cyber panel i've been playing around with like subscribe comment